Good morning, y'all. Guess what? Cracking a cold one. Early in the morning. Uh, actually, it's not super early. It's early for you guys, not for me. It is 11.57 right at noon. I had to go pick up supplies and everything, as you guys can tell. And uh, we are starting the first build out here. And I couldn't be any more excited. The uh, weather is not terrible right now. We... Uh, have been getting some ooh I got a piece of wood in my butt that's not good um, the weather has been pretty great out here lately and uh, it is a little uh, slightly humid I guess uh, just because it's been raining and we're supposed to get hit hard tonight uh, according to the weather channel it is supposed to hit hard with potential tornado warning so why in the world would I not start building you know um perfect perfect timing here with uh the build uh someone not far from here i uh, saw they had a camper out on the property i think they bought property just to hunt and uh i think they got a fire going and um got some uh maybe some barbecue or some cooking because smells good uh it doesn't really smell like barbecue too much it smells like kind of just a fire maybe they uh just had a little fire going last night or something or uh early this morning but um it's been an eventful day already for me just running and getting materials uh, as you guys could tell again got a uh, a nice stack of uh lumber here i got some stuff in the back of the truck uh generator uh ice chest full of drinks and stuff uh tools uh the whole work's got it all i hope i didn't forget anything because it's gonna be a lot of trips back and forth to uh shoot dang ranch if uh i forgot anything but oh it feels good uh to be starting the build it feels good to uh get some structure out here get something going uh this is the start of many many projects and this is when you really start to see a lot of work from us uh you know at the beginning yes came out uh, started clearing some land and doing the pond and stuff uh, and then uh, Outlaw came out. Outlaw is the one that did the majority of the work. Uh, we got lucky on our end uh, that uh, his machine did the work and we didn't really do anything but watch and film uh, while we did a couple other things but uh, we are ready to start building structures. We're uh, getting ready to uh, you know get a fence put in in the front we called 811 got all that situated got bees or something over here uh, got that situated so we are good uh you know no underground utilities up by our uh, road to get a front fence put in uh, we're gonna get the uh, uh sides uh done up uh, a survey so we can um get actual we already got a survey on the property but we only have our four corners, but we're gonna get some stakes put in so we know where to uh, put our fence. Uh, we filmed some behind the scenes uh, on the Crocker Life of all of this. Uh, if you guys haven't checked out the Crocker Life, go check that out. And um, you guys will be seeing a lot come into the Crockers. Oh, it, it sucks starting over and having to uh, build another house, build another structure for the animals, build fencing for the animals, build the fence up in the front, put a driveway in, uh, try to get electric, try to get a water well again. It sucks starting over, but at the same time, uh, you get to learn from your mistakes. And uh, I'm sure some of you guys saw uh, Jared, my twin brother, he just lost his house. He had problems with that and um uh it it really sucks for him to have to start over but we all know uh starting over could be a really good chance to go after something better and uh i think what's cool is jared's probably most likely going to steer away from a shed to house uh this would have been his third time and three strikes i think and you're out so uh i think he's probably going to go for something else so um, it's just crazy. Uh, we went through things together, bad situations, and now we're going through bad situations separately. It just shows um, no matter what, something could always happen. But 
Uh, I'm sure he's gonna figure it out and we're figuring it out here and uh, it just feels good uh, Sucks to start over, but it feels good at the same time and uh, I, I don't really have plans Exact plans, I guess I'm just gonna wing it and build it. Uh, that's kind of how I do everything uh, We get a lot of questions all the time about like our old videos um, the shed the house we did building a tiny house uh, building the pole bar and all that stuff. Can you give us plans? Can you give us the plans? Where did you get the plans? What's your building material list? Man, I don't know. Um, I just come up with an idea in my head and uh, I rough, uh, rough sketch something on some paper and then I go to uh, the local lumber yard and I get supplies and I just start building. Sometimes I have enough material, sometimes I don't. Uh, but um, I'm, I'm not really one to build exact uh, to plans and whatnot because it's kind of the same thing I do everything in life just kind of roll punch and see how it goes uh, get creative make changes as you go and uh, every time it comes out decent enough so I'm happy with that uh, you know as far as a, uh, a permanent house and all that you know we'll go a little bit uh, better uh, but as far as um, everything else we're doing right now we just kind of roll the punches and, and go and it gets the creativity going and stuff and the more you do it the better you get at it uh, I'm not a professional at all but uh, it's just like playing guitar I didn't know how to play guitar I just taught myself and just started going you know I never had a teacher or anything uh, video work never had a teacher I just kind of taught myself uh, building never had a teacher just kind of built you know and taught myself and uh, I think that's the best way is just get out there and start doing uh, they say you don't need to be a professional to start, but you need to start to become a professional. And, uh, um, you know, or the same thing. You don't need to be good to start, but you need to start to become good. I think that's the real thing. Uh, and I think that's the truth. And you just got to get out there sometimes and go. Um, you could talk yourself out of doing things over and over and over. But if you jump in there and you start doing stuff, it'll really... Uh, become easier and come to you better over time so get out there and uh, try to uh, learn a new skill even if it's one little skill uh, every day you learn a lot a new skill every week whatever it may be and then uh, you'll start to gain confidence and uh, I have enough confidence that I don't need plans to build what I'm building but the projects have started the building has started uh, the momentum on this channel as far as content has started um, we're very very thankful for everything that's been done on here but now it's really time to rock and roll and we're excited so guys I got all this lumber here I got me a drink I got generator tools everything in there so I need to get ready to start building hope you guys are ready for building videos guys like I've said forever and probably says on the back of my shirt if you want something bad enough you'll make it happen. And if you feel like you want a t-shirt, a Crocker shirt, you can go over to bonfire.com and just search the uh, Crockers. That's just B-O-N-E-F-I-R-E, -E, bonfire.com. It's hard to spell in my head. But, uh, and then just search the Crockers and uh, stuff will pop up if you're interested in these shirts. If not, no biggie. I'm gonna keep wearing the same one every day as long as I can since people like to say stuff I like to push the limit. So, all right, guys, catch you in the next. Peace out. Love you guys. Yeah, yurt. Yeah. Uh, all right, guys. Seriously, though, I got building to do. Bye.